Imagine not having enough food, not just for yourself, but for your children. The pandemic has made that a reality for millions who never thought they'd be the ones asking for help. All this week, TV 5's Take 5 to Care is highlighting hunger. Blake Keller shows us this problem could be affecting someone you know and you may not even know it. In 2020, videos and images of lines of cars, in some cases, bumper to bumper at food banks. As the pandemic worsened, those lines getting bigger and getting longer, exposing food insecurity in our communities. It's going to take families really months and months to recover. Food insecurity is not a new issue, just one that keeps growing. Kara Ross is president and CEO of the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan. But what we're seeing during the pandemic is an increased need of this food to really fill the gaps that are existing for a lot of people. Those gaps could be reduced hours, layoffs, delayed government assistance. Communities are in more need of food assistance than ever before. So we've seen a significant increase. We're just seeing community after community needing more help. The Food Bank of Eastern Michigan's food insecurity rate usually sits at 14%. But since the pandemic, that number has skyrocketed to 40%. Or people who are hungry, hungry people trying to get help during a very difficult time in their lives. A lot of people have depleted their savings and not had jobs or income. And typically nearly 20 million pounds of food is distributed across the 22 counties this food bank serves. But as demand rises, so does distribution. Since the pandemic started, even just since mid-March, we've distributed over 49 million pounds of food. A lot of that food prep happens right here at the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan as volunteers and National Guard members pack and weigh food boxes. But food has been hard to come by even for the food bank as manufacturers put their focus on getting food and produce to grocery retail stores first. The food bank is doing what they can through a network of over 700 hunger relief partners. We had to be very creative about working with our farm partners and our communities here in Michigan. Um, both to have fresh produce and milk and dairy, all of the things that we want to be able to provide to our families. Getting creative while staying socially distanced can be a challenge, but providing food can be done through the mobile food pantry, which has been deployed 50 times a week compared to the typical 20 visits this time of year. There's a long road to recovery and the food bank isn't done in feeding the vulnerable. And we need to make sure that this network is strong and available and ready well through 2022. In Flint, I'm Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. The Food Bank of Eastern Michigan is constantly adapting. The nonprofit says about every three to four months it looks at how they source food and constantly update their model in obtaining and distributing food. And tonight at 11, the faces of hunger. We're taking a look behind the numbers and introducing you to the people facing this issue every day.